Okay, communication is going to be a big part of this training. An attack breaks out in a busy market. This is a simulation, a mock attack at a counter-terrorism boot camp for tourists in the occupied West Bank. Everything is a live weapon, live ammunition, there's no joke. Nearly 30 people, most of them visiting from the United States, have paid up to $150 each for this two-hour demonstration, where reserve soldiers in Israel's army show them how to respond to a terrorist attack. This the first time in their life simulates them to show them that an attack like that, at least in Israel, uh, people's lives can be saved. The group is shown how an attack dog can thwart an assault. The message here, be prepared for anything. I want you to be aware to anything, anywhere, anytime. To understand. The Lowy family came from Long Island, New York. Maybe to, we'll be a little bit more alert and more sensitive when, if God forbid, a terrorist attack would happen. Um, and if I guess if you understand what the responders are doing, you know how to get out of the way and how to work with them. This is a popular tourist experience with up to 22,000 people coming every year, but some of the neighbors here aren't thrilled with this boot camp. The mayor of a nearby Palestinian town says the mock scenarios have a much darker message. This is not about protection, he says, but rather about humiliating Palestinians. What I'm doing over here is 100% professional. It has nothing to do with the Israeli-Palestinian uh, uh, fight. I'm not even saying the word Palestinian. I'm not saying terror is Palestinian. There are other controversial boot camps in the region, including this summer camp for Palestinian kids who dress up as Gaza militants fighting mock Israeli police. If you film the place while it's happening... Those who run the camp for these tourists make no apologies. They say in a world where terrorist attacks do happen, there's nothing wrong with showing people how to be prepared. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, Gush Etzion in the West Bank.